Oh no, what do you, oh shoot, Princess Belle, or Countess Belle, you're wearing nothing. You cannot show up to your brother's coronation ceremony dressed like that. rainbows that is what won on my community post for my poll I asked you guys what you want me to call you and rainbows was the main thing since my name is Ray so that's what I'm gonna call you guys from now on and I think it's really cute so let me know if you guys like it I don't have to stick to rainbows I can switch it up and call you guys like rainbow royals or like just royals or sunshines I can even do sometimes too because that did get a lot of votes as well but anyway I just wanted to say that but yeah I think it's cute okay so we are going to to jump right into it. I do have a few things to say while we load because we're going to go to the Windenburg royal family really quickly. So first things first, I did make an Instagram for my Sims or for, yeah, I guess for the royal family. And basically just to have a place to show you guys the memories and the pictures and the screenshots that I've taken. I've gotten super into just getting like poses, like mods, poses, and just taking pictures because it's just a lot of fun. So my Instagram is MiraRay underscore Royals. I do have my own Instagram that I also link in my bio for that Instagram. But since I'm just sharing the Royal Family memories, memories, I felt like I should just name it, like dedicate it to Royals specifically. So go ahead and follow that. I love taking screenshots. I've gotten so into it and I've become so obsessed because some of them are just so cute. Like there's adorable ones of Nea and Philip and just all the children. So definitely go follow that on Instagram so you guys can see. I also just want to say thank you guys for your patience because I know I haven't posted a video in a while. I know that in the last video I said that I would be posting a royal family tree video in this episode but if you saw my community post I said I just I have a lot going on and there's been a lot of stressful things happening and I've just been very unmotivated lately because of it and it just kind of like my mood's been a little off so I just needed because the royal family family tree video is such a big thing and I know that it's going to be very popular so that puts a lot of pressure on me and it's just very long so this episode is going to be pretty short I, I planned on it being pretty short just because to get back into editing and stuff I just want to have something easy to edit I think first and then I'll get back into things but yeah thank you guys for your patience sorry about that but just wanted to let you know that everything's fine I just needed to get back into this oh oh gosh I just realized so I, ha oh, I should change that. I'll do this later. But I was taking family pictures and using like the poses so I could like post on the Instagram. So I moved Kellen here because I wanted pictures of Kellen and it was just easier if he was in our family. So that's why he's in our family right now. And then I moved Princess Anna here or Marchess Anna because I needed someone to take pictures. So that's why they're here in case you are wondering. I will move them back. I'll move them back later just because I don't have that much time right now to do it. So I don't want to wait for all the loadings screen so that's just why they're randomly staying at the Windenburg Palace or part of our family at the moment. But yeah I took some really cute pictures. I have like a ton right now because they were in Princess Anna's inventory so I just took them all out but you guys will see them on Instagram but I'm gonna like have them around the palace and all that stuff too so it'll be super super cute. But the reason we are here is because so Makai has been really just working his way up in society. That's not what he meant to do but he was as I mentioned in the past he was just working on like what he wanted to do in career wise and he wanted to get more into like kind of more political things I guess of the country so he's been learning a lot he's actually recently started working under I guess not King Henry specifically but he's kind of been working with King Henry and he's gotten closer to King Henry because they just get along really well like I'm pretty sure their relationship is so yeah it's so high it's so high so he has been getting along and getting super close to King Henry and also of course he knew Henry before because he has dated Amira and I feel like Henry has always liked Makai. So I originally said that Princess Belle would be the royal advisor. Well, no, I said maybe we could have Prince James of Brinton Bay be the royal advisor. And then in the last episode, I was thinking maybe Princess Belle. But if they're a crown royal for the monarchy mod, you can't have them be a royal advisor. So I have to pick someone that is not, that I have not designated as a crown royal. I guess that makes sense. I don't know if you want family to be a royal advisor just I don't know you're not supposed to like work with family I don't know something like that so I was trying to think of 
of other people. But since Makai has gotten super close with King Henry, but I know Makai hasn't known Henry for that long, but Makai and Amira are still really good friends. And I know that Henry is really like, yes, he's thinking for his royal advisor, but he's also thinking for Amira's future royal advisor. So he's already discussed this with Amira. Amira has agreed if, if that is really what Henry wants to do, but just because he already comes from a really good family and he's got really good ideas. He's very smart. They've realized that. This is what I'm making sense in my head. I don't know if this makes sense to you guys, but anyway, we're going to invite over Makai. I also did find King Edmund's urn, in case you were wondering, because in the last episode it had disappeared. It went up here or something. I remember like, I guess because when I reset him, because it was frozen or like the Grim Reaper wasn't coming. Oh, there it is. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't know why, but it ended up upstairs. So that was really weird. But I, oh, I should probably give this to King Henry to give to Queen Cora, which is kind of a sad conversation. But we will also be having the coronation ceremony in this episode, as you guys saw by the title. This is all I really wanted to do was just basically invite Makai over and ask him to be the royal advisor, and then we're gonna do the coronation ceremony. The twins, Juliet and Elena, both age, who's this? Oh, some, okay, really random person. Can you please leave? But Princess Elena and Princess Juliet, they aged up into children, like very recently, like that just happened. So I didn't do a full on birthday party for them, but I didn't think that you guys needed to see that, but you guys can see them as children. They're super cute. Okay, so Makai is here. I changed some some of his outfits now. So now he looked like I had changed his outfits. I think the last time you guys saw him a little bit too, just to kind of get out of the Sulani clothing. But now he, I have really changed his outfits and he looks so good. I think he looks so good, you guys. But he's still also living in Windenburg. So he's been here for a while. He's worked with the Brindleton Bay nobles, like the Duke of Brindleton Bay and stuff too. But then he ended up just starting to work with King Henry as well. So King Henry is going to, oh, that's cute. Oh, I forgot that's like the royal, I'm assuming that's the royal greeting that comes with the mod, but that's super cute. Or is it? Isn't that supposed to be like the Selva Dorada greet? I don't know. I That's some sort of greeting. Okay, so we're gonna bring Makai into the sitting room and I think Amira should come here too. Oh, everyone's just standing here. This is like, I had a whole portrait set up. Like I put all of these, what are they called? I don't know, just the spot where they're supposed to stand that comes with the Moschino pack, which is really helpful, I will say. Cause you can just like have your Sim stand there and they'll actually stay there, which is really nice. I'm gonna have them all change out of the clothing they were in for pictures though. I still need to frame all of those pictures and everything too. I played around with some of Amira's outfits too. So this one I think is super cute. Okay, someone was also saying, well, I saw one comment that said maybe as relation or as Amira's relationship goes on with Jabari, maybe she'll stop wearing black. I don't think Jabari has anything to do with the fact that she's wearing black. Like unlike Prince Johan who stopped wearing black at his wedding. But I felt like that was because him and Princess May had a relationship. Like they liked each other. And with Amira and Princess May, that's her sister. So I don't think Jabari has anything to do with that. So I don't think that would be a reason why she would stop wearing black. And then someone said that she should just stop wearing black because they thought that it just didn't look right. I think she looks awesome in black. She looks so chic. She looks so good. I know that she does wear a lot of black too, but oh, I don't want to change her. Um, but I also, so I started working on the designs or I had reached out to someone a while ago to help me with the design for the merchandise that I was talking about too. So so they made one and a mirrors and black in that. Maybe she'll start wearing other colors, but I still think they'll be dark. So maybe I'll kind of like ease her way out of it a little bit, but I still think she's going to be wearing either black or dark colors for a while. Also because on the merch, I don't know, I already asked the designer to make something. Maybe I can figure out how to change the color. But yeah, anyway, okay, I just wanted to say that. I will reveal the designs and all that to you. When the time is right, I want it to be uh, kind of like a big reveal sort of thing. So I just wanted to mention that really quickly though. Okay, so Amira and King Henry and Makai, they are now all talking in the sitting room here. So I feel like Henry is just telling Makai that him and Amira were talking and they're just very impressed by how far Makai has come. Amira trusts Makai. I, they've definitely had their history, but yeah, she trusts Makai. And then Henry trusts Makai too. And Henry knows Makai is a good guy also. Oh, okay, well, he's getting up. Anyway, they're asking if Makai wants the opportunity to become the royal advisor. So 
we're gonna have him designate as advisor. And I feel like Makai, obviously he's still learning. He hasn't been doing this for very long. And I know it's very unrealistic that he would become the royal advisor because he hasn't been doing this for very long, but it's really just someone that they trust and someone who knows what he's doing and he still has a lot to learn. So we're going to have him designate him as advisor because Makai really has come a long way. His status has gone up so much and he's already from a really good family, from, even though from Sulani. And he's not getting along with his mother right now though, although his mother has been trying to patch things up and reach out to him because Makai basically just kind of cut her off. Okay, but Makai is now officially the royal advisor. So he has all of these interactions he can do with King Henry. So we're going to now go to the coronation, or yeah, I guess we're going to the Willow Creek royal family for the coronation ceremony. We're not starting it right away because it's only 4 a.m., but we will start it soon. And I'll show you guys Julia and Elena as well. Okay, so we are now at the Willow Creek Royal Palace. So I will show you our little princesses. This is Princess Juliet. I love this hair on her, but because her hair is black, the bow turns out red, but the Willow Creek Royal family's colors are blue. So I'll probably end up changing that, but I like this hair. Amira actually had this hair, but it looks different on her because she has black hair and Amira had blonde hair. And then we also have Princess Elena and she also has like the wavy long hair too. So they both got their mother's hair. They look more like their father. And then Princess Genevieve, she has her father's hair, but I think she looks more like her mother. So it's interesting to see mixed kids. They're just really cute. Anyway, we are going to be having the coronation ceremony in a few sim hours. So since some time has passed since King Edmund passed away, no one really has the buff anymore that says that a loved one passed away. I'm not going to be showing the Funeral. I asked in the last episode, I was like, well, should I do the funeral first? I meant, should I show the funeral in the video? I know that I should do the funeral before the coronation ceremony. So I wanted this video to be short, so that's why. I know, it's kind of silly. And I probably should, while I was playing from the Windenburg family, I probably should have had King Henry bring the urn to Queen Cora. And I'm sorry I'm rushing things a little bit, but I just wanted, I wanted to do a video because I like filming videos too. I like editing too. It's just, I like filming more, so. Oh no, it says Genevieve is going through a phase and she found her spirit animal. Genevieve only wants to wear her bear suit. No, <laughs> this is your father's coronation day. You are not wearing your bear suit for it. You can wear it until we have people over. How about that? Okay, so now it is coronation day. Oh, I forgot to do a portrait of them too. I guess I probably should have done. Well, I don't think I needed to do the portrait before this. I feel like this is fine, but I should move their portraits. Okay. I put their portraits here. I want it to still be in memory of, even though we still have Queen Cora here. I can't believe Queen Cora, her son is now going to become the king. That's so weird. I remember when Queen Cora became the king or the queen. I remember when she was a child and she was so cute and she was adorable and I loved her so much. So we're going to basically Basically have everyone come over. I'm trying to think things. Well, you know what? We'll just do it. We'll do it and I'll figure it out as we go. Okay, so I have now started. I technically made it a dinner party, but it's fine. We know it's coronation day. I didn't want to do a royal banquet or anything like that because I can't invite a ton of people for the royal banquet. I can only do that for like a dinner party or something like one of the events that come with EA and not any of the events that are mods. So that's why I went with that. But I did invite Corinne's family. So this is her sister Marjorie coming in. And then here we have to Sedira too. Look at the Willow Creek Royal family just kind of standing here. They are all ready to welcome their guests. Look how good they look. They're all so cute. I love them, you guys. They're adorable. They're waiting for their guests to arrive. That's just so cute to me. Okay, yeah, everybody else is starting to come in. Oh no, what do you, oh shoot. Princess Belle or Countess Belle, you're wearing nothing. You cannot show up to your brother's coronation ceremony dressed like that. Okay, now she's good. She's all dressed now, that's good. Oh, I know we also do need to see Kellen's baby. I, I really need to move Kellen back to his house because right now it's just Megan and the baby, Prince, or not Prince William, Lord William at their house right now. But I want all of our family, like King Henry, to meet his first grandchild because it's so cute. So I really need to have them do that, but we'll do that in the next episode. All right, so people are starting to come in. So we should probably start this now. I have no idea how to get people to sit down. Maybe if I have Queen Cora give a speech, I know they would have a priest or something here for a coronation ceremony, but that just seemed a little bit too complicated. So I didn't feel like picking someone to be the priest or making one and then doing all that. So we're not going to do that. Okay. So people are 
kind of starting to come in here. And look how cute Elena and Juliet are too. I know it looks like Elena, I'm pretty sure it's Elena. Elena and Genevieve are wearing the same dress, but they're not. I probably should have put Juliet and Elena in closer color dresses and then maybe Genevieve in the dark blue dress, but that was already Genevieve's dress. So that's why I did that. But they look all so cute, you guys. Okay, so I have a Corinne. This is really cool because I'm using a pose pack for this. So I'm also coming out with a video in the next few days on the mods that I use because I know that was very requested. So you guys can expect that and I'll put the information about the post pack and all of that in there as well. So we have Corinne and Louis. They're standing up here. They're waiting for everyone to kind of settle down while I guess Queen or Dowager Queen Cora, she's giving a speech. And I know this wouldn't really happen, but she's basically just introducing everyone and telling them to come in and that we're about to get started. I guess she's not technically running this. I should have had a priest or something. I don't know. Maybe it's the Willow Creek tradition. This is made up, but maybe it's a Willow Creek tradition for the spouse of the past monarch to be the one to crown them. I feel like that would make sense. Everyone is seriously just gathering. Like they are welcome to sit down if they want to. Prince Louis also looks very nervous right now. I feel like I know it's the pose and it's the, what is it called? The animation, I guess that he has that I put him on, but he's kind of fidgeting. It looks like he's fidgeting a little bit. So he looks a little bit nervous, but Corinne's like, I am ready for this. I am ready for my husband to be king. She's going to be the first spellcaster queen. So that's really cool. I know we don't acknowledge the fact that she's a spellcaster often because I tried to contain that for just my mini series, my realm of magic mini series, but I mean, we all know that she's a spellcaster. Okay, so we have a queen, Cora. She is going to stand in front of them. I know nobody is sitting down, which is very unfortunate because I want people to be sitting down for this. Okay, but now Corinne, she's going to crown. I guess technically she would only be crowning Louis as the king, but I don't know. I know Corinne is not the monarch, but she's the spouse of the monarch. But we are now going to have a Corinne first have her change into her crown. So we'll pretend that Queen Cora is putting her crown on her. So it's actually a different crown than Cora had. I guess, yes, it would make sense if crowns were passed down, but there's so many different crowns and I have so many different crowns that I haven't used yet. So I want to use all of them. And then now we are going to have her crown King Louis. Oh, apparently I already changed their names. King Louis and then Queen Corinne. So I've changed their names already. I did not realize that. I need to go into create a sim and give him the monarch trait. I'll give him the monarch trait, but everybody, Oh, beloved by the people, King Louis has proven himself to be completely adored by his subjects. Well, that's good. He was just crowned. But everyone changed into their cold weather's outfits and I wanted everyone to be in their formal outfits. And then we have all of their kids up front sitting here. That's so cute. But I mean, King Henry or, oh God, not King Henry, King Louis now. He's officially King Louis. And then now we have Queen Corinne. And oh my God, I love this guy. Oh, and then Corinne's mother is sitting in the throne. I know there is a mod where you can claim objects and you can claim chairs and other stuff too because like you can claim beds but it didn't work for me for some reason and I couldn't figure out why so I deleted it but maybe I'll try to figure it out again because in situations like this I wish it was working this didn't go quite as planned but I still think it's really cool I do actually need to make King Louis he needs to name Cornelius he needs to reckon well yes he re needs to recognize him announced as heir oh my gosh though but Corinne's dress it doesn't go right when she's sitting it's just kind of like a big cup or something at least with the kids, they go with the dress. Like when they sit, it works, but it doesn't work with Queen Corinne. They will be doing a royal dinner party, but I actually do need to end this episode here. For the future, I'll try to be a little bit more depth and plan a little bit more things for the coronation day. But as I mentioned, I just wanted this episode to be kind of short just so I can get back into editing. But I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any other suggestions for future coronation days or coronation ceremonies, you can let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at MiraRay underscore Royals. Definitely make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.